Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and this video shows you the latest developments in Blender 2.8, the upcoming awesomeness by the Blender developers. First, let me tap into edit mode and tap back into object mode. And yes, you've seen correctly, the tab key for edit and object mode is back. The change that you had to, I showed in the last video has been reverted. So we can now happily tap and tap again. And if I tap into edit mode now, I can use the two key to go to edge select mode and the three, the three key to go into face select mode. And now let me tap back out and show you where the search is gone because it's not on the space key that brings up my tools. No, it's now on the tilde key. That's the key above tap and below escape. This one, at least on a German keyboard. And if I click and drag in the 3D view, I can now drag my 3D cursor. That was also highly requested and it's finally here. And now for the big change, and that is Pi menus are now enabled by default. It's no longer just an add-on, it's by default enabled. And the first thing they're using them for is to go to the other modes, because of course there's not just edit mode, there's also sculpt mode and things. And for this, you have to hold down the tab key and then move your mouse. And then you can switch, for example, to weight paint or sculpt mode, or of course going back to object mode. So let me do this again. I click and hold the tab key. The Pi menu is not showing up yet, but once I move my mouse, I can now switch to the other modes. And up here, there has also been a change. You know, this new um, widget that allows you to um, navigate the 3D viewport without a middle mouse button. But those four options here, like um, going back and forth and like panning, they are no longer um, aligned in a um, quad-like fashion around the um, circular widget here. They are now aligned in a line. Um, that's one change I'm not so comfortable with. I preferred it when they were uh, around the widget in a, in a quad-like fashion, but well, it's still cool. It's still a really helpful widget. So I'm partly fine with this. And another big change I'd like to show you is that here, the um, all those um, properties are now aligned um, top to button in one column. But that was also not very popular with many users because this also means that you have to scroll quite a bit. So the developers decide, decided to make it responsive. That means if I now click and drag this, you see I get a multi-column layout back, which means um, I can now like um, put a lot of screen estate here and have multiple columns, or I can click and drag this very much to the right and I can go pretty far and I still can read everything and select everything. So this is a really nice addition because it gives the user control. And there are a few other goodies waiting for us here, like um, a search menu or a search option and the option to get um, extra buttons here for easy keyframing and a few other things, but that's for a future video. Now I would like to know from you, um, how much are you actually following the development of Blender 2.8? Um, did you ever notice that for sometimes you couldn't tap into edit mode and back out because they had changed it to the number keys? And of course, also, what do you think about the current changes? Like for example, search key on the tilde key and um, Pi menus enabled by default. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Just leave a comment here below the YouTube video. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, do try this at home, which means download Blender 2.8 from builder.blender.org. Link is in the description and play with it yourself. Bye.